Okay, we're back from Katsukon 19. The convention is over, so it's time for my annual AfterCon report. So, this is guys your second Katsukon. This is your second con in general? Hers. Comic Con, but I guess it doesn't count. Anime's con. Yeah. So what all was your favorite thing? Least favorite thing? And what could they do to improve or not improve? Least favorite thing was their, they had poor communication. They definitely need to get some better communication, uh, volunteers, stuck stuff on time. What was your favorite thing? I don't know. I think the dealer's room. There's a lot of good stuff there mm -hmm. for us. The artist the alley was lacking this year. The drive up there and back was pretty awesome. <laughs> in spite of the $5 toll. Still no ghetto. I'm going to pay $5 to not go to a ghetto. Yep. Um, what else? We got some good shirts. There was a good shirt selection this year. Yeah. Good manga. Got, them, got my first model. My first foreign model. So we'll see how Oh, that yeah. Best burger ever. That's Ketchup. my favorite thing. <laughs> Ketchup. Best burger. What was your guys' uh, favorite panel? The storytelling of Supernatural Stories. Mine was the uh, video game in 30 days. It would have been steampunk until they screwed it up. What was it that screwed it up for exactly? What was their description of it? He compared, he said that Steampunk was goth plus brown. After talking about cyberpunk for 15 minutes, so it was definitely biased towards the cyberpunk. I think that's probably his better, his genre he likes more. What was, uh, what was the worst panel you guys went to? Was it Cosplay Nation or was it Cosplayer Nation for me? Beginner Guide to Cosplay. Cosplayer Nation After Dark was my worst. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was weird, creepy. Two virgins at a dike were going to tell me about fetishes. And the dressing up like a pony is the exact same thing as cosplay. Yeah. They were just showing footage that didn't make it into their video because it was 18 plus material. And the quality was horrible. Couldn't hear them. There's a lot of good cosplay this year. Did you see uh, David the Gnome and Lisa? Yes, I did. That was a really impressive. I, uh, Old Mac and the Hidden Temple, though, was... Uh, yeah, it was really good. That was classic. I, I still think the Doctor Who family is my favorite. Yeah, I would say they were my favorite. And there was a chick that did Doctor Who, Matt Smith one. She, she was, was really good. good. Just like, her pose was great. And still was hundreds fun. of characters. I have no idea what they're from. But like their costume. Mm -hmm. The troll from Wow is pretty good too. Yeah. What did you guys think of the hotel? 18th floor is not where it's to be. Yeah. <laughs> Some place that has more than one elevator access. Yeah. I understand they were dealing with two big cons there, but they definitely need to do a better job. I don't think they should book two giant conventions like that at the same time ever again. Because they had quite a few thousand themselves. Yeah. The past, last time they had little things going on. There's a little business thing here or there. Yeah. Jewcon was pretty bad. I want a t-shirt that just says, I survived Jewcon 2012. 2013. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Mayans didn't predict that. <laughs> we slept and nobody heard the fire alarm. But everyone heard the announcement that the fire alarms would be ignored. Definitely a little scary. It's pretty scary. Anything else you guys want to add? They did really good on parking this year. It was a great deal. That was nice. Bonus. I think our next anime con, then we're going to try something different. Mm -hmm. Anime USA or PAX East, something else in the area. Kind of have more of an appreciation slash comparison. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. What do you guys 
great. Well, this is another Katsukon for me. I uh, wish I could say I had more fun, but uh, the BBYO, or JUCON as it's becoming affectionately known by several of the people who went to Katsukon, kind of ruined a lot of it. Because they took over the gazebo area for the longest time. They even made sure to point to rope it off. So we couldn't, even when there was nothing going on, so no one could use it for photo shoots. I didn't like the fact that they thanked them for giving us the gazebo after spending the weekend of constantly having their members tramp coming over to our side and photobombing, pointing and laughing at us, just being all around jackasses. You know, we not allowing us to go to the parking garage because you had to go to the front entrance and go all the way around in the cold because it was cold this weekend. Especially in the rain. You know, just so they can have their area. This is, we had to respect their area, but they were able to respect ours. Um, you know, I got my VIP pass, which was good because I was able to get uh, some autographs that I really would not be able to get otherwise. And it was very good to get into the events on Friday and Saturday afternoon. Now, Saturday night, it was so packed that having a VIP pass was useless because, you know, there was just no one to really keep order because there was just so much crowded people trying to get to events. I really wish that they would put up, you know, use signs more, actual signs. Like ha having signs in front of the room saying what's going on at what time, throughout the whole day, not just the screen doors you know, the, the TV screens, because, you know, they only show at that time. I'd kind of like to know if I'm just wandering around, like, hey, something cool's going to be going on here for a couple hours. Not just make me have to keep watching the, uh, the schedule every few months. Uh, my favorite thing was probably the video game, making a video game panel, just because that was the most informative panel I've been to in a while. It's nice to have a, a guy actually do a panel and know what the hell he's talking about. And actually have some credentials to back up the, or back up his claims. Uh, the AMVs were, were, were good this year. It was kind of sad that they had the AMV contest off to the side. They didn't have it in the main room like they did before. Um, as much as, as much as I've always enjoyed Kazakhan, it just feels like this year, things just, you know, they, they didn't have good control over things. It seemed much more chaotic than normal. Maybe it was, you know, Jukon that was called, that caused a lot of it. But there's also just poor communication. Uh, the thing that probably upset me the most was I was really looking forward to playing in the Soul Calibur Five tournament. Because originally I'd, I heard there were going to be tournaments, but they didn't specify what kind of tournaments. I actually went to the game room to see what tournaments they were going to have. And I was surprised to see the SoCal tournament, so I signed up for it. Yeah, I hung around the game room on Friday for about like an hour with my messenger bag and jacket. No one said a word to me. And when I show up 10 minutes early to for the, make sure I was on time for the tournament, I can't get into the game room because they they say I have to check my bag and my jacket. And there's already a long line. They only had two people working the coat check. Would they not let you skip that because you're VIP? No. Yeah, I was in line and it was taking them forever. I, while I was staying in line, I heard I was there for last them doing last call for the tournament. So I ended up missing that whole tournament. I left the panel early, so you know a good panel early. So I could be there, and I couldn't, I couldn't play. And they said it was in the books. It's like, well, I didn't see that in the book. If you had, it would have been nice if they would have told me the day before when I was walking around with my jacket and bag, or just had a sign up saying that, hey, you got to check your bag and your jacket. Because I would have left it with you guys. You guys would have watched my stuff for me, so I would have been yeah. in tournament time. So just poor communication in general. This weekend, I heard you know the same problem from experienced staff, from experienced people who've been going to Catskill for years. It was a regular problem. 
I think. Yeah, I, I was. This one was probably the least enjoyable cats kind of I've, I've been to. I think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go next year. See, if maybe things uh, turn around. Maybe if they can. Maybe if they can have it, so there's not another big con going on at the same time. Like cats kind of has most of the convention to ourselves, like we had previous couple of years. I think I'll do it again, but that's it for me. Yeah, that's it.